You want to really be instilling uh, positive habits and a positive relationship with food from an early age whenever possible. And so getting athletes, even at quite a young age, like right when they're getting involved in sport to be thinking about, have we given our body enough energy to do what we wanna do? Are we drinking water like we know our body needs? So you can start with keeping things like really basic. And then as they're climbing to higher levels within their sport, you can get a little bit more detailed. You can get them thinking about, okay, did you pack your hockey bag? Did you pack your lunch kit? What are you gonna put in there and why? So I feel those those conversations can happen like U9, U11, then as they get um, older, you can have maybe a bit more in-depth conversations. Think about how long you're gonna be there, okay? Your coach wants you there an hour before. How long are you gonna be away from home and what do you have with you? Not. What are you going to buy? But what do you have with you so that you can pack that from home? I find the biggest thing with, with someone's kind of fueling strategies or the types of foods that they're consuming really comes down to the timing of it. So you can uh, really make quite a difference in how someone's going to respond to a training session, how dynamic they're going to be on the ice when you look at when they're actually eating. So if they're going right from, let's say, school into a training session, they don't have time to grab something, you can really see a big response with that um, when they're trying to get their body to do something, but they haven't had any food intake for quite a while. I would say that they're having their supper uh, between 4 or 4.30, which can be quite challenging for, for many families. Um, it's, so it's really organizing when their body has access to that meal and then ensuring that they have enough time to digest it. And then I would usually have them do like an energy top up or a snack, uh, maybe when they get to the venue. So whether that's an hour and a half or an hour 15 before.